Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Are Tigray fighters really fighting in Sudan in support of Sudanese military? This question was put to Ethiopian foreign ministry spokesperson. What did he say? Secondly, uh, is Ethiopia demanding extradition of uh, Ethiopians is a living in the US? A meeting was held today between Ethiopian uh, Federal Police Chief and US Ambassador to Ethiopia where this issue was raised. Thirdly, Oromo Liberation Army is demanding international inquiry into the death of Bate or Gas. Firstly, viewers, uh, it was the Rapid Support Force which issued a statement a few days ago that uh, Tegarai fighters, TPLF fighters were fighting in Sudanese civil war in support of the military against the rapid support forces. Tegarai interim government responded to these allegations, uh, calling them uh, false, saying that uh, RSF wanted to internationalize the conflict. It wanted to gain international support. Otherwise, uh, there was no uh, point in uh, Tagarai fighters uh, having a role, having uh, participation in Sudanese civil war. The interim government had called for dialogue to resolve the conflict in Sudan. Then two days ago, a Tagarayan journalist David Kabbede claimed that it was Gita Shoreda, Tagarai interim president, who held some secret meetings in the UAE. And there he told the RSF officials, UA government officials, that uh, Tigray fighters were involved in the fight against RSF in support of Sudan military. Federal government remained silent. But on Thursday, yesterday, federal government's uh, foreign ministry held its weekly press briefing. Uh, Nebio Tadla is the new spokesperson of the ministry. Their questions were asked. Uh, one of the questions was about this uh, claim by RSF that Tegarai uh, fighters are fighting in support of Sudanese military against RSF. Nebio Tedla, interestingly, did not dismiss it as a lie, as a false claim. He said that uh, Ethiopian government will investigate this issue and after that it will release a report. It's a very interesting statement. It means that uh, federal government did not rule out the possibility of involvement of Tigray fighters in Sudanese civil war. How long will it take to investigate? And uh, why is that when RSF spoke, uh, government remained silent? Did it conduct an investigation? What has it been waiting for? So, the response from the federal government of Ethiopia indicates that maybe federal government has suspicions too. There could be involvement of Tigray fighters in Sudanese civil war. That is why it wants investigation to be conducted. How will it conduct investigation, by the way? Because it's happening on Sudanese soil, uh, how will it ensure that it gets the correct report from the ground? That remains to be seen, but now the federal government will have to conduct investigation and tell the people. Federal government is neither accepting nor rejecting both claims. One from the rapid support forces and the other by the TPLF. TPLF immediately rejected around within 24 hours after RSF's claim. TPLF categorically rejected RSF's claim. Federal government is not uh, outrightly rejecting RSF's claims. It means something is fishy. Let's see what the federal government says in coming days about alleged participation of Tigray fighters in Sudanese civil war. Secondly, yours, uh, 
in ethiopia demanding the custody of its uh, citizens in the us who are allegedly involved in destabilization of government in ethiopia uh ethiopian federal police chief met with the uh, us ambassador to ethiopia uh damilosh is his name the federal police chief he met with arvin misinga us ambassador to ethiopia and there the federal police chief raised this issue that uh, ethiopia wants extradition of those elements ethiopian elements in the us who are involved in creating instability in ethiopia which elements no names announced so far by the federal police but if you remember a few months ago ethiopian government uh, shared details including identities names of people based abroad involved in uh, creating instability in ethiopia and among those mentioned were ethio 360 journalists and others too uh, one orthodox uh, activists too uh, and others as well there were several others mentioned too in that list so maybe ethiopia is demanding the custody of those journalists activists who are seen as pro fano anti ethiopian government will the us government extradite them deport them let's see keeping in view the freedom of expression uh, situation in the us it's not very likely but let's see oh, we'll see what uh, uh, which names have been shared by the ethiopian government with us government that will be interesting to see so far no names made public uh, ethiopia did arrest one journalist from abroad and that was gobe jesse i think he was arrested from djibouti still in custody if i'm not wrong uh, but it would be definitely very difficult to get journalists back to get them deported from uh, the us to ethiopia Lastly, viewers, uh, Romo Liberation Army is demanding international inquiry into the murder of Bathur Gassa. Bathur Gassa was murdered uh, around a month ago, and uh, since then, we have been seeing reports that the investigation is being obstructed. Uh, Human Rights Commission of Ethiopia suspended its inquiry into Bathur Gassa the murder of its investigators were harassed in Romania by. security for allegedly uh, romo liberation front ola both accused the government the government forces took patero gas away from the hotel and then he was found dead he was killed by security forces uh, we heard from us embassy too two days ago the us embassy called for transparent investigation removal of uh, obstacles to uh, the investigation romo liberation army in a statement yesterday said that uh, the government is trying to implicate others in the death of in the murder of bathur gassa government first accused bathur gassa's brother uh, mackey town mayor said it was a family dispute maybe which led to the killing of bathur gassa then government tried to blame the roma liberation army bathur gassa's brother sister were arrested witness is arrested as well so how can an impartial free investigation be conducted when witnesses are being harassed they're being detained family members are being arrested that is why to serve justice impartial international investigation should be conducted indigenous mechanism for investigation is bound to be influenced by the government and government forces are involved in this uh, assassination killing of bathur gassa let's see if you open government obviously won't agree to an international investigation into bathur gassa's murder uh, government opposed investigation into the human rights abuses which happened in tagaray mahara far to but tens of thousands of people died uh, women raped robberies looted nothing happened if you open government refused to allow 
UN Human Rights Council investigators to investigate the abuses in Ethiopia. They were not given access. How would this government uh, allow an international investigation into Bathur Gas's murder? It's not very likely. Let's see. Uh, Bathur Gas's murder is becoming very controversial law. It's turning into uh, a political murder like uh, uh, Hachalo was murdered. Hachalo was murdered and everything then uh, became unclear. Deliberately, uh, the security forces, the government complicated the investigation. Same could happen here as well, it seems. We'll never know who killed Bathur Gaza. Let's hope that uh, investigation is connected. And by the way, uh, the report by Human Rights Commission is going to be very important, which will issue us report in coming days, reportedly. Preliminary report, though it was not allowed to complete investigation, but it will issue a report, uh, reportedly. What will the commission say? Let's see.